When I was in prison in 2003, I received a lot of letters, actually, about 4,000. But there was one special letter, and it was written by a young girl, about 12 or 13 at the time. Well, she's sitting in the other room, and I responded back to her, and she kept the letter. So through a friend, I've been invited to actually meet her. She doesn't know I'm here, so I'm going to walk through very soon yep. to actually say hello to her. So it's a big surprise to her. She doesn't know I'm here, but let's see how it goes. I would have been about 12, I think. I think I was in year six. And I'd heard that Pauline had gone to jail, and that just seemed ridiculous to 12-year-old me. So I thought, you know, I, I had this image of her just sitting there in prison, bored as, looking at the walls. At that time, I was really into crosswords and finder words. And I thought, you know what, I'll give her something to do while she's in there. So I ripped out a couple of pages, wrote her a letter just saying, you know, chin up, you know, don't let them silence you. Keep going, it's awesome. And um, I sent it to her, not thinking she'd reply, no way. And um, one day I came home from school and there was, there was a letter in the mailbox and um, I could tell it was adult handwriting, so it wasn't a kid's party invitation or something. And um, yeah, she replied with this two-page letter and yeah, I was, I was stoked. Ran straight to mum and dad and yeah, it was awesome. And what made you keep the letter? Oh, it's, I, I would never get rid of that letter. It's been on my bedside table ever since. Yeah, it's special. She's special. Do you want to read that letter for us? Sure. I got it here. Okay. All right. It was Thursday, 16th of October, 2003. Dear Georgie, thank you for your letter. I appreciate the crossword and enjoyed doing them. You're a very clever young woman to have understood what has happened to me since I was just elected to Parliament. My heart and beliefs have always been in the best interest for our country and its people. Being a representative of the people is not a job I took lightly or for granted. Since I was a young girl your age, I have seen the many changes and I must say, not for the better. I am sorry that you are sometimes faced with arguments. Most times when people disagree with me, they are ill-informed. If they call me racist, ask them to tell you one racist comment I have ever made. Remember criticism is not racism. Look up the meaning of racist. Also remember why I became a member of parliament. My responsibility is to the Australian people first and foremost. Australians' way of life, culture, beliefs and laws are being eroded and destroyed by many who will never see themselves as Australian. I welcome those who come here for a better way of life and give their loyalty to Australia. I welcome those who come here for a better way of life and give their loyalty to Australia. I ask no more than what they would expect in their own homeland. Never back away from your beliefs and stand up for your rights. Always have consideration for others and their beliefs. Voltaire said, I might not agree with all you say, but I will defend your right to say it. I wish you all the best for your future and hope your dreams and aspirations become a reality. Your sincerely, Pauline Hanson. <laughs> oh my God. I thought you'd be bored, so you needed something to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I hope sorry. you did them, mate. Yeah, yeah. I still do crossword puzzles you do? today. Yes. Yeah, I love them too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know what... 
Okay. Well, yeah, well, there's the letter. What happened was I got about um, 4,000 letters sent to the prison. Yeah. Plus also I had all letters sent to the head office. And I've still got a box of letters right, mm -hmm. from people that she sent to me. So I've got most of the letters that were sent to me and I, I never discarded them and I never got rid of them. Yeah. And um, it was only some, you know, special letters. Like they were all very special and I mm. couldn't answer everyone because of yeah, sure. the writing paper and I had to write it by hand. Yeah. And so it was those special letters that really stood out to me that I sort of um, responded to the people. And you, you oh my gosh, I marks. made the cut. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, that I actually responded to. So, so there were some um, young children that actually wrote to me when I was in mm. prison. I've actually ca caught up with them. Oh, um, really? Since. Oh, yes, yeah. And um, so I've caught up with them over the period of time when I got out of prison. Yeah. And um, I've got to say, you know, I just... Um, the support that I received is what actually kept me going and mm. you so young to have actually taken the time to write to me. It's so special. And that's why I probably got a response because I thought, what, would you have been about 12 or 13? Yeah, I think it was 12. That's for me, to have actually got a letter from a 12-year-old was special. Mm. And, um, yeah, I remember thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't. She's going to, you know, maybe think I'm a loser or something. But <laughs> when I, I never, got the response, I, I was very, yeah, I, I was very excited. I never think loser. No, I, I, I always said one of the lowest points in my life. Mm. And, um, and just people taking the time to write to me and to actually give the support. It was very, very special to me and even to this day still very special to me and I yeah. think and that's why I've, I've taken the time and you know to actually come and see you tonight because it's it's my response to what you did many many years ago when you were such a you know just in your teenage years to actually take the time to write to me and I don't forget that wow that's you came all the way from <laughs> Queensland to tell me that but I've come from the other side of Sydney actually have you yeah tonight oh, to, wow. to get here to, to see you so anyway I remember just how excited I was when I, I said to James before when I saw that I could tell it was adult handwriting on the envelope and I thought okay what's this and when I opened it I, oh, I couldn't believe it I ran straight to mum and dad and they were so excited and that it was such a long letter too I thought if I get any response it'll just yeah. be a quick like yeah thanks you know thanks a lot no, but no, such I, a I always, that's you really put aside time to do that thank I always you so did. much with everyone that I responded back to I, I really take the no, time thank to you. write to them. thank you it's been and on my bedside table ever since so. <laughs> Oh, that's, so that's, much. that's really nice and what I've said to you in that letter is really no different to what I say today. I know, yeah. And back then and when mm. I was first elected to Parliament to, to then in 2003 even to this day mm. and um, I mean what I say in that, that letter yeah. is very special to me. People, the Australian people, who are, yeah, they mean a lot to me. Yeah. yeah. Oh my that's gosh. Lovely. So anyway, it's, it's really nice to actually catch it's up nice with you. I'm glad you. I was able to actually do it down yeah, here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't <laughs> it feels like a dream. Actually I had a dream the other day I did meet you. We were at some sort of theme park. Yeah. And you were there and I went up to you and we started going on a few rides together and we loved it. It was good. So <laughs> it was, must have been a bit of a premonition. <laughs> yeah, well that's lovely.